Hi there guys, this video here is on Sasha Banks. Since her 2012 WWE debut, Sasha Banks has spent the last decade changing the game for women's wrestling despite numerous setbacks within the company. In 2019, she bet on herself and called the company's bluff and she won. In the aftermath of a shocking tag team title loss at WrestleMania 35, Sasha Banks did the most unimaginable thing a WWE wrestler can do. She walked away. Yeah, that um, that 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 WrestleMania match certainly was shocking. There's no way Sasha and Bailey should have lost the tag titles that night. It isn't a secret that Banks has a, a sometimes contentious relationship with the WWE universe. She's known for her legit boss persona. An NXT creation built from scratch by Mercedes Kaysner, um, Venado and Dusty Rhodes. Probably said the name wrong there. But, uh, from the beginning of her tenure at WWE, the boss has been living up to her name in a way that makes some fans f uncomfortable. She's been criticised for everything from her willingness to fire back on fans, for disrespecting her boundaries, to her unhinged glee at making Izzy cry during TakeOver. I, th I, I thought that was an absolutely brilliant heel thing to do. Me personally, but I'll continue here. Respect a heel move that will go down in history as the meanest thing anybody has ever done to a child at a pay-per-view. And yes, I am counting my ladder match for Dominic's custody. Okay. <laughs> In the eyes of many, Banks proved her haters right when she refused to return to WWE following her tag team title loss. According to her detractors, Banks has always been arrogant, rude and too full of herself to be humble and do her job. Yeah, you know, I you know, remember seeing all the um, shit that was said about Sasha on Twitter at the time. This idea um, quietly shaped most of the coverage of the event. A frame most evident in the regrettable decision made by prominent wrestling journalists to spread rumours about her emotional reaction to the loss. Never mind the fact that Sasha Banks and Bayley had spent years trying to get women's tag titles restored at WWE. Never mind the fact she'd only been informed that she'd be losing that title on the day of the event. Despite weeks of storyline built to the contrary and rumoured backstage plans to take the titles to NXT and other main roster pay-per-views for the fences. Yeah, they, they even appeared on NXT. On NXT, saying that they were going to defend the belt on NXT as well, and never got the opportunity to do so because they took the belts off Sasha and Bailey and put them on the Iconics. Never mind that both her and Bailey did not, in fact, throw fits and storm out of the locker room after their loss, but remained to cheer on their colleagues in the history-making main event. Yeah, that was my, that that was ignored by. A lot of so-called um, WWE journalists. The story everyone seemed ready to accept was that Banks was selfish and entitled, threw a tantrum on the locker room floor and quit for no good reason. So why does Sasha Banks walking away from WWE make her the greatest wrestler of the decade? Because Sasha Banks knows what she's worth, and she won't let anybody forget it, not even WWE. First off, let's be honest, you cannot discuss the public reaction to Banks' decision to leave without acknowledging the re that wrestling has issues with racism and sexism. As a black woman, Banks exists at the intersection of that issue 
Much of the criticism of Banks's character and attitude revolves the idea that she thinks too highly of herself, is impatient with people who devalue her, and, and that is arrogant for her to claim to be as good as she seems to think she is. She is as good as she says she is. And yet nobody seems to have an issue with Paul Heyman's overblown by work on behalf of Brock Lesnar or Charlotte Flair's declarations that she had to save the main event of WrestleMania 35 from being worked by a pair of nobodies. So Ronda Rousey's a nobody. Okay, <laughs> I'll continue. That isn't to say those wrestlers don't have their detractors, but the general public opinion of them isn't swayed by their arrogance. Demanding respect from your peers and better booking and TV time is fair game for the vast majority of wrestlers, but when Banks does it, fans call her an entitled brat. That's, that's true, a lot, a, lot, a lot of them, a lot of fans were calling her an entitled brat at the time, which is clearly stupid. It's hard to ignore how that plays into negative stereotypes of women of colour and the way that fra framing is frequently applied to women of colour who step up and demand the respect they deserve. To be fair, fans who aren't as familiar with Banks' overall work might genuinely wonder why she has such healthy self-esteem. NXT was good to Banks, but the main roster at WWE hasn't done their best work with the boss. Again, that's another point that's true in this article. Her title runs have disappointed have been disappointingly short, her character development has been uneven and difficult to follow, and she's frequently been mired in weird storylines and pair-ups. That's not her fault, that's down to WWE Creative. Banks has not been shy about sharing her displeasure with this in the past, and for good reason. A wrestler who lacks Banks's talent and charisma likely would not have survived this kind of treatment, much less thrived as a fan favourite. And yet, despite the fact that WWE has struggled to let Banks live up to the potential she showed in NXT, she has remained one of the most visible and beloved figures in the WWE Universe. Banks' merchandise is a frequent top seller in the WWE shop, Wrestlers like Sami Zayn and Cesaro get credit for putting NXT on the map. As they should, because they did. But it's Sasha and Bailey who blew the roof, roof off the arena at those Brooklyn takeovers. Yeah, that is, that's the best women's match I've ever seen. Uh, Banks' WWE resume is a list of company firsts. First women's match, main event in an NXT pay-per-view, first women's Hell in a Cell match, and the very first entrant in the inaugural Women's Royal Rumble. People can say what they like about Banks' persona, but what she's managed to accomplish in the company cannot be disputed. Banks is not lying when she calls herself a trailblazer or when she says she's responsible for setting a new standard for women at WWE. If any wrestler at WWE can lay a fair claim to calling themselves the Beyonce of WWE, it's Sasha Banks. Complete, I agree with everything this article's saying at the moment. Unfortunately, this work has not translated into better storylines and title runs. For the duration of a main roster career, WWE has been happy to use Banks in the ring, but haven't been giving her the respect she deserves. Again, that's true. She's been employed by a company that will use her body to make matches compelling and her face to move merchandise, but doesn't seem to value her creative input and sense of her own work. 
by walking away from WWE after the opportunity afforded by the women's tag titles was taken away from her. Banks reminded WWE what she's worth. She called their bluff and eventually, instead of cutting her loose, forcing her to wait out the rest of her contract in obscurity, they worked with her to bring her back home. As Banks herself notes, it isn't fair for us WWE fans to guess what's going on in the head of Mercedes uh, case nut Venado. We can't speculate as to why the, the, the woman who plays Banks decided to return to the WWE. We know she's loved the company since she was a child and dreamed of wrestling for them since she was a 10 year old begging wrestling training camps on the east coast to give her a shot. We know that she was going through a period of extreme stress and depression leading up to Wrestlemania 35 as revealed on her WWE Chronicle special and that she used her time off to heal her body and mind find joy in the work again. We know she kept wrestling uh, we know she kept wrestling while she was away, even taking a trip to Japan to train with Miko Satomura in the Sendai Girls Dojo. We know she stayed in communication with WWE the entire time and was never publicly considered by them to be in breach of her contract as they worked to bring her back onto the active roster. Any doubts about WWE recognising the value of having Banks on the roster were definitely squashed on the eve of her return. After four months away from TV, Banks returned to the ring by crashing Natalia's heartfelt, heartfelt memorial speech for her father, slapping her mourning friend square across the face and pulling her, her signature purple hair off her head to reveal a new blue look and a terrifying new heel persona. Banks was not just welcomed back by WWE, she was given a new persona and a renewed push as a top heel on the roster once more. How did the fans respond to Sasha ending her hiatus by ruining Natalia's moment and beating her with a steel chair by chanting, Thank you Sasha? So, thank you, Sasha. You stood up for yourself this year and you won. You set an example for every one of your fans who has struggled with their sense of self-worth in the face of adversity and you proved us right for believing in you. Blue really is your colour and the 2010s will go down in wrestling history as the decade you changed the game for everybody whether they were ready for it or not. But you never needed anybody to tell you that you were the best wrestler of the decade. You already knew it. And now everyone, everybody else does too. Yeah, very good article there. So I, I agree with everything that this article said. I only do believe Sasha has been like what massively underutilised on the main roster, despite her accomplishments. And hopefully, like going into next year, it will be a lot better for her. Maybe a Royal, maybe a Royal Rumble victory for her. Even though I, I do think, um, if we see Shayna Baszler in the Rumble, I, I do think she, she'll win it. If not, then I'm going with Sasha. She deserves it. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then hit the like, subscribe, and don't forget to share. And I'll see you next time.